This week in Nerf, we've got a blaster where it shouldn't be, and two new third-party magazine designs, one for full-length darts and one for half-length darts. Welcome to my new show where we talk about what's going on in the nerfing community. So let's get right to it with our first topic, and that is brought to us by Cooley24 on Reddit. They posted that they found a nemesis in Canada, and this has been confirmed by others, and they have picked up their nemesis's nemesis size, nemesis, we don't, I, I don't know how that's said, but Nemesis Blasters have been found. That is the new rival blaster that was supposed to be dropping in the fall. Now we've all had blasters show up early and we're kind of used to it, but this is months early. This is far earlier than any of us expected. It's really cool to see and hear about, and I'm glad people are getting their hands on them, but we have no idea when the official release is now, if it's going to be changed, or if this is just some crazy mix-up that allowed people in Canada to get their hands on something far earlier. Now, Cooley24 has already attempted some mods on it to increase the capacity, and I'll, I'll put a link to that video in the description below, but I think it's really cool and exciting to see blasters out in the wild. It's always uh, a fun kind of treasure hunt when we start to see things popping up and wondering if it's going to show up in our local stores. So, if you're in Canada and near a Toys R Us, go pick one up if you can. Who knows how long those will last on the shelves before they get pulled. Go do it it's probably worthwhile. Second up, we've got new worker mags, and these are honeycomb designed mags that are banana shaped. It's really interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what these are derived from or if it was just a design they came up from. If someone knows if there's a precedent for this style, let me know in the comments. But this came to us from Baub2540. I don't know if I said that wrong, apologies if I did, but also on Reddit there is a Taobao listing and they are going for about $7 US right now. I don't know if we'll find sellers going for less or some that will be able to ship for cheaper, but that seems to be about what you'll pay before shipping per. These are kind of cool, they're definitely unique, and I'm always a fan of options. I love seeing more diversity in designs and colors and shapes and all those things on the field. So I think this is a really cool option for people that don't want the maybe super realistic PMAG, but also don't want just the standard Nerf magazine. So take a look at them. Again, the link will be in the info. Moving right along at our third topic, Jet Blasters has shown that their Katana Mag system is now up for pre-order. And their Katana Mag system is a Stefan-sized magazine that fits in a smaller mag well. So that will be for their Cita Blaster, which we saw previews of on their Facebook page, which is a new kind of sci-fi interesting looking blaster. It's not finalized, it's not produced or anything yet. They just showed some sneak previews, so those designs are not going to be final by any means, but it does showcase the Katana Mag inside of it. The interesting thing about these magazines is that they will be available with adapters, so they could work in full-sized uh, magazine wells or breaches for the Nerf branded mag or uh, Nerf branded blasters that we're so accustomed to using. I think this is really cool and really interesting and I love that they're doing it. I personally don't use half-length darts. I don't play with Stefan's groups around here, just don't use them. So it's not really something for me to get super excited about personally, but for all of you out there that use these, it's really cool. It allows people that want to build a blaster with a smaller mag well, a uh, smaller profile, to really have some fun, build your own magwell to fit them, and have something that really is personally yours and gives you more options. So I, I know I've heard some people already talking about plans for them and I'm really excited to see what they come up with because if, if it is possible to do some of the things that are being talked about, I think we're gonna see some fantastic things with these magazines. That does it for the magazines, but Along with the uh, blaster parts, that line, our fourth topic is the Open Flywheel Project. This is a group that has been designing flywheel cages for blasters that will be open sourced and available to anyone that has access to a 3D printer. Now, that's great for people that have access to a 3D printer, but for those that don't, uh, the group has paired up with Kelly Industries to sell their flywheels pre-made and printed and ready to go through that company. So they are going to be available. I will have a link there. 
And uh, that comes to us from a Hale Kelly, a Hale Kelly. I'm sorry, I don't know exactly how that one's pronounced, but it was on Reddit the post. As with everything else, there will be links in the info below. Now that brings us to the last topic of the week, and that is our video of the week. This comes to us from Dart Zone MNL. It's a loadout video in the style of the make test battle but that's not what was interesting to me. What was interesting to me was the blaster itself. I'm not gonna go too far into it. I'm gonna let you take a look at that yourself. The link, as with everything, is below. Check it out. That brings us to the end of the episode, but before I get to the very end, I do wanna ask your thoughts on this video series. Before I get too far into it, I want your opinions. Do you wanna see other segments? What are your thoughts, your ideas, any suggestions? Do you think maybe we should do a community mod highlight every week? Take the best or the most interesting things that maybe not everyone gets a chance to see and showcase them with permission, you know, those types of things. Let me know, that's important to me. I wanna get your feedback and make this the most interesting show that I can. With that said, that's gonna do it. I hope to see you all next time. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.